Welcome to Anchored. I'm Sarah. It's story time today at Anchored, so gather round. Once upon a time, there was a girl who was told she could do anything she wanted to do if she really worked at it. And she believed. So she worked, and she tried, and she learned how to play the saxophone, and solve calculus, and speak German, and get people to like her. Until she couldn't. So she tried again, and she failed again and it broke her heart. But it also turned her heart to the only one who always loves her, and that has been her greatest treasure. Friends, the world tells us that we will be fulfilled by achievement, power, wealth, and affection from people around us. But like the teacher in Ecclesiastes reminds us, all is vanity and a striving after the wind. The world promises what is fragile and fleeting, so what is certain and lasting? Or maybe a better question is, who is certain and lasting? You probably already know what I'm gonna say. God is. And if he's the source of everything, then we mostly need more of him, right? That's probably why the first and greatest commandment is to love God with everything we have. But in our human experience, what is intangible, like an invisible God, is hardest to hold on to. We want to see results, touch and feel things. That seems real. But when we have things, we don't need God. Think about the times you felt God be most near to you. For me, it's been the times when I've been the most humbled, the most wrecked. And I think that's why Jesus says in Matthew 5, verses 3 through 5, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. When we really need God, we most clearly see him and most dearly love him. Most of us probably don't associate the good life with weakness. We think of power, possessions, and pleasure. Jesus turns this upside down in the opening of his sermon. Weak disciples are living the good life because they are receiving the kingdom. So join me this week in reflecting on our need for Jesus. Let us sit in wonder of a perfect and holy God. Let us mourn our sin and be comforted by our redemption in Jesus. And with humble hearts, may we live out the kingdom right here on earth. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.